Full Throttle is a steel roller coaster located in Valencia, California at Six Flags Manager Mountain. Built by Premier Rides, Full Throttle is a custom terrain coaster that cost roughly $6 million and features three launches and at the time of opening, the world's tallest vertical loop at 160 feet or 49 meters. Full Throttle is a very large scale ride. How does it work? When riders enter the station, they pass under the ride's initial launch zone, which provides a view of the ride's main propulsion system, the linear synchronous motors. It's important to remember here that in terms of magnets, opposite poles attract and like poles repel. Linear synchronous motors work by imparting a magnetic field under the train. The track's fins contain three separate and isolated coils. The track includes a pair of linear synchronous motor fins, where the opposing polarity of the system is held and located under the train in the form of another magnetic fin. When dispatched, the brakes unlock and the linear synchronous motors provide a low energy standing force because the train's fin is attracted to the track fins. This process or stage lasts very briefly. These forces are not completely perfect and some riders may notice that the train rolls back and forth a bit to adjust to an equilibrium point between the two opposite and attracted forces. Once ready, the three coil linear synchronous motors go to work switching on and off several times per second, passing a current through the coils to create a forward repelling motion. Using this formula, we can find the magnitude of the magnetic field within those fins located on the track. The following values are estimated on basic coaster specifications. New of the coil, in our case, is 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7. Most coasters run on 480 volt power sources, and realistically the wire that the coil is made up of should have little resistance. If the wire has a resistance of about 4 ohms, and the supply voltage is 480 volts, the current which is measured in amperes, commonly called amps, is 120 amps. In order to achieve this, many high-frequency transformers are the ringing sound you hear during the launch. We then multiply new by 120 and by an approximate 1,500 turns of a coil. All of this is divided by the length of the coil, which can be estimated to be about 0.05 meters, or 5 centimeters, and we get a resulting 41,252.56 teslas, which are roughly equal to newtons, which is, as a result, equal to a grand total of 9,273.94 pounds of force, or roughly 4.6 tons. Keep in mind that this is again an example, and is in no way meant to be exact. Its purpose is to give you an idea of how the fins apply their force. With little resistance in the coils, the, the coils do not convert all their energy to magnetic force and can exert a small amount of energy in the form of heat. This heat must be carefully monitored and managed by the computers and several fans. These types of rides are comprised of very elaborate control systems, with each fin of the track having its own communication computer to interface with the main ride computer system located away from the guests. This is why you see all those boxes and cables on the bottom of the track. Since the linear synchronous motors that line the first acceleration zone are separated into parts, 
The ride contains many fail safes that assure the ride, should it roll back, will be able to stop. For one, sensors called proximity sensors that sense the presence of a metal object, the train's magnetic fin, allow the computer to know where the train is. Two, during the launch, the linear circuitous motors that the train has already passed work in the reverse direction and can function as brakes, but instead of accelerating the train, they decelerate it. The track is also tilted upward just slightly so that if the train should stall, it can return easily to the starting position, in our case the station itself, to relaunch or easily evacuate riders. After ascending and descending the large loop, the train traverses the rest of the ride by taking a sweeping right turn followed by an inclined turn left that doubles as a jump onto and over the Superman Plaza. Finally, the train turns from bank left to bank right and takes a dive loop into the tunnel of the former Magic Mountain Metro Monorail. Inside this tunnel, the second launch system utilizes the concept of working against the train that I mentioned earlier to bring the train to a stop. There are no stationary brakes in this launch system, but similar to the holding feature of the initial launch, the second launch system moves the train back to prepare it for a second launch backwards. After accelerating backwards into the second half of the dive loop, the linear synchronous motors reverse and work to help the movement of the train, which is already in motion, headed back to the tunnel. Accelerating the train, riders can feel forceful positive g-forces into the back of their seat and as the train makes a medium-sized sweeping left turn into the final element, the top hat. After the top hat, the brakes quickly decelerate the train to a crawl and two proximity sensors within the block and between the brakes register the train inside that block, allowing for the train currently in the station to be let into the launch stage. The concept of coaster box is that there must always be one empty block in or area where the train can be stopped or accelerated in front or behind the train at all times. The train will not be allowed by the system to enter the block until the train that has occupied it has exited that block. I hope you've enjoyed this short video on how Full Throttle works. I wanted to create something that would combine a sense of elegance and education to captivate you and provide you with a better understanding and appreciation for how these rides work. If you would like me to explain your favorite ride, please comment below or help me decide which ride I should cover next. Let me know if you have ridden Full Throttle before and what your thoughts are on it. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to ask them below. This channel is about providing the highest quality content I can deliver, and each of these videos requires intense research and scripting, so I would greatly appreciate you telling your friends and family about us, and like, comment, and subscribe to keep these videos going. Once again, I hope you've enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. If you're interested to see where I got this information from, the list of sources will be left in the description.